I'm going to bring in meteorologist Amanda Holly to talk about why this is not called heat lightning. And nothing should be called <laughs> right. heat lightning because it's not actually a real thing. One of my favorite yeah. topics yeah. to talk about here. So you've probably all seen it, right? Late summer night, you're looking off in the distance, you're seeing these flashes of light, and you call it heat lightning because a lot of people use that term. But I'm here to tell you, there is no such thing as heat lightning. There is no such thing as lightning caused by heat. What this is, is lightning, regular lightning from a regular thunderstorm. But you can see those flashes of light on the horizon. You're not hearing any thunder because the storm is so far away here. So again, you're seeing the tops of the thunderstorm, but you're not seeing the bottoms of it. So it's a normal thunderstorm that is possibly hundreds of miles away. And again, you can see it because the curvature of the Earth is blocking most of uh, most of the thunderstorm. So you're not actually seeing any of those bolts that are coming down to the ground what you're only seeing is the tops of the thunderstorm because of the curvature of the earth and you're seeing the reflected flashes in those higher clouds so again regular lightning not heat lightning it's just from a storm that's really far away so Lee the saying goes when thunder roars go indoors well in this case you're not hearing any thunder because that storm is so far away and you don't have to go indoors because you're not in any danger of being struck by lightning but it looks so scary when you're driving around and it's dark and you see that flash, it could be hundreds of miles. That's why we always use the, if you can hear the thunder, that's when you're in danger. But there's no such thing as heat lightning, even though, my friends, it is plenty, plenty hot out there. It's